Brownells makes pretty good slides. What's up guys, Rick here back again with another video with Adventure Outline. Guys, I am super stoked. Welcome to Firearm February. Uh, we're going to be kicking it off today by talking about the Glock 19 slide from Brownells. This thing is awesome. Um, I've uh, had a lot of fun with it, so let's get into it. I picked this up from the Brownells website. Uh, they had a really good sale a couple of months ago. And um, I'm super stoked because it's the first build on the channel. And unfortunately, though, I can't show you the build process because of YouTube's rules and regulations. But guys, don't worry. I'm going to roll in some B-roll of showing you what the slide looked like when I got it um, completely gutted. And obviously what it looks like now. So guys, a uh, few reasons why I picked up this slide. One, I had done a ton of research on the Brown Owl slides. Uh, that were all pre-cut and um, pre-milled and everything and they were one of the ones that were available right away um, which if you try and get a custom slide it takes weeks sometimes even months to get um, and um, the they had this on sale so that's why I picked it up and I had done a lot of research on Brownells as well um, because one of the challenges that people have ran into uh, that I've found out is that they um, um, the, some of the tolerances are just too tight and no matter what they do the um, the slides won't function properly. Um, all the research I did on the Brownell slides uh, I hadn't seen anyone with any issues with them and so that's why I picked them up. I picked up this particular slide because of a few reasons. One, it has front slide serrations which my OEM Glock slide doesn't. Um, I have a Gen 3, this is a Gen 3 Glock. Um, and uh, so it had front serrations, which I loved that. The other thing is, is it had a really uh, cool uh, front window cut out. And um, I really wanted that. Um, honestly, not so much for performance, um, but more for the look. Um, my, my OEM Glock slide, runs perfect um, but uh, this one was really um, somewhat for the look uh, that I really really got it for. Um, the The main reason why though I got this particular slide um, along with the the front serrations and the window cutout was that it's got an RMR cut on it and so um, I don't have the RMR yet I will be getting that probably in the next month or two on top of picking up the slide, I also picked up the plate for the RMR cut for the same exact slide. And it's got a really nice black, a matte black finish on it. And what's really cool is that the plate itself has serration cuts on it that actually match up with the cuts on the slide itself. And so all the lines are really nice, very clean. Um, the slide itself is chamfered along the both edges. Um, and it just looks really, really, really good. When the slide came to me, uh, it didn't have any internals, so I did buy an internal parts kit for it. I popped that in. Uh, on top of that, for the sights, I went with Trigicon Suppressor Night Sights. Uh, I went with those because, again, I do eventually plan on putting an RMR on it, and I didn't want to have to buy sights twice. Um, and um, they work really really well and I think they look actually really good. Now I'll be honest with you guys I've never actually even shot a firearm with suppressor night sights on it so this is my first pair um, um, not only on this gun uh, but for me ever shooting. Um, other than other than the plate and the internals kit and the sights um, I didn't buy a barrel to this um, I'm just using the OEM Glock barrel and OEM guide rod that came with my original Glock 19 uh, Gen 3. Uh, in here I will eventually buy a barrel. 
Uh, and once I get the barrel, guide rod, and the RMR, I will uh, do a second review of it down the road. So guys, that's the build. Let's head out to the range and I'll give you my first impressions of how it performed. All right guys, so here's the first mag in the Brown Owls slide. Um, I'm digging the slide, but let's see how it functions. That was 10 rounds, no problems. All right, guys, so I'm going to test the Brownells Glock 19 slide with uh, ETS mags. Uh, I've never had any issues with these guys, honestly. Um, I'll do a review on them uh, some other time. Uh, but I've been using these for over a year, and they've worked really good for me. But uh, that's all been on OEM Glock, so uh, let's see how they function with the Brownell slide. Ten rounds from the ETS mag, not bad. So this is my second ETS mag. I've got ten rounds in here. Uh, let's see what's up. Mag functioned pretty good. I was a little off on the target though. All right, guys. So far, no double feeds, no issues with the slide whatsoever. Um, the only thing that uh, I think I've realized is that the um, the sights might be off just a little bit. Um, um, I'm definitely having to uh, just uh, figure out my point of aim, point of impact a little bit more than I do on my OEM Glock slide. Um, on this, uh, I do have the Trigicon. Um, suppressor uh, night sights on this. Uh, I actually really like them. I've never shot suppressor height sights before though. So um, yeah, it's something new. I do like them though. So I think I just need a little bit more practice with them and I'll have it dialed in. So guys, as you can see, it performed really, really well. Um, I didn't have any malfunctions with this whatsoever. I was shooting 115 grain, your federal ball ammo. Um, and um, nothing special um, and it performed flawlessly as you guys also saw I used different magazines with them didn't have any issues there either um, I didn't have any issues whatsoever 
with the slide. It also fits in my um, my holster, um, and um, I haven't had any issues with it whatsoever. So guys, let's head back out to the range. I'm just gonna show you a little bit more footage of me shooting, um, and then I'll come back to you, give you my thoughts of it, whether or not I think you should pick this up or not, um, and maybe some of the pros and cons. So honestly, I don't have any real big cons about the slide itself. Uh, it absolutely functioned perfectly. Uh, I didn't have any issues with it. It cycled every single time. It locked to the rear every single time. Uh, the tolerances, again, seem very, very nice. And uh, it just functions really, really well. It's a very simple slide, but I think it, it functions perfectly and it looks really, really good. Now, uh, con-wise, I don't really have much of a con. I, I, I think it, it, it just performs and looks really good. Um, you know, um, obviously, again, I haven't put the, the RMR on it yet. Uh, that'll be down the future, and we'll see how it, how it functions then. Um, the only issue that I've ran into with this slide is when I go to take it off the frame. And so, as you guys know, pull it back just a little bit, and you go to push forward. When I go to push forward, it locks and it won't, it won't come off like my OEM one will. And so what I have to do is pull the trigger and then it'll slide off. So guys, I'll show that to you one more time. I'll put the slide back on. No issues with it. So I'll pull it back just a little bit. Go to pull it off and it gets stuck right there, as you guys can see. So let me do that. That way you guys can see a little bit better. But if I pull the trigger now, it'll come off. And so, guys, that is the only issue that I've had with the slide itself. And um, I'm sure it's just it's an easy fix. I'm not really worried about it. Uh, even with that, and I've taken it on and off a bunch of times, and it still functions every single time. I've never had any issues with it. So I'll let you know the fix on that in a future video um, if I come up on it, but um, it functions really, really well. Can I recommend this slide? Absolutely. Uh, I have no questions about it. This thing performed perfectly. Uh, it feels awesome, and it functions awesome, and it looks absolutely sick. So um, I definitely recommend, guys, pick one of these up from Brownell's website. They had a sweet deal. Um, unfortunately, I can't put links in the description. Um, otherwise, YouTube will get mad at me, and I don't want any strikes against me. And so, guys, what I think I'm going to do is I'll probably put them in a comment um, um, down below the description so that you guys can check those out. Those are my thoughts of the Glock 19 Gen 3 slide from Brownells. Pick one of these things up. You won't be disappointed. Um, just so you guys know, I'm not affiliated with Brownells in any way, shape, or form. I paid for this slide and everything that went on it with my own money. They didn't send anything to me. They didn't contact me. They don't know I'm making this video. Uh, this is simply a slide that I saw, that I liked, that I wanted. I bought it, uh, built it, and I'm showing it to you guys. So... I can definitely recommend this. It is awesome, performs awesome, and it is flawless, and I think you'll have a lot of fun with it. So pick one of those up. If you're new to the channel, please kick that subscribe button, give us a like, give us a thumbs up, share this video with your friends, check us out on Instagram at Adventure Outline, and as always, I'll see you next time right here on Adventure Outline. <laughs>